guys welcome back to my channel right here I have a 2000 Chevy Silverado 1500 I'm gonna be this is gonna be a full respray of this pickup truck as you can see the clear coat is um, burnt on the top on the hood on the top and um, some other miscellaneous parts fenders uh, but this truck is going to be a full respray, so let me take you through the process as to what uh, you need to do, all this, and um, let's get to it. All right, guys, right here, I'm starting with uh, 220. So I'm going to start sanding the entire truck with 220. If it's too aggressive, I will move to 320, but I'll be starting with 220. That way I can uh, smooth out all this uh, peeling clear coat. So let's just get started. <laughs> guys I D8 this side of the hood with um, 320 I went uh, I went ahead and sanded it with 320 I started with 220 but progressed with three to two, 320 right here guys I sanded it with 320 to bare metal as you can see I'm gonna be putting some etch etching primer the reason I did this, there was a lot of uh, rock chips that were beginning to rust. And if only I would have uh, just sanded and not uh, gotten all the way to the metal, that rust was still going to be there. So for my security, for my uh, experience with this, I sanded it to bare metal. And uh, I'm going to put some etching primer then some primer and uh, so forth so um, uh, like I said if you just put uh, putty in the rock chips it's not gonna work if it's uh, already starting to show signs of uh, rust so let me continue on this side and I'll bring you back all right guys this is a self etching primer um, this is for bare metal I got it uh, from Transtar and I got it on a aerosol can because it's a lot easier for me to do little small areas like this with a aerosol can than mixing a whole batch of uh, self etching primer and just go to waste so this is a real good uh, thing if you have little small areas like this so let's get to it And that's it guys just let it dry if you're gonna shoot I'm not gonna shoot the paint right now the base so after this I'm gonna put a, a layer of uh, primer over this and uh, I'll shoot my my base but uh, I'm gonna leave it this for a couple of days I still need to sand the whole truck but I didn't want this to create some rust so if you're gonna paint the same day with this just wait for an hour for it to dry and uh, you'll be good you'll be good to shoot the the either the the sealer primer or whatever you're gonna shoot over it 
or just don't shoot the, the base on top of this. You got to put something else, either the primer or sealer or something. So, like I said, I'm going to let it dry and go from there. All right, I'm um, continuing sanding with the 320. I'm already in the fender. The running boards uh, are being sanded. I took off the mirror and I'm going to take off the moldings. That way all the paint can go inside the, the, the moldings and everything, get covered with it. So uh, I'm continuing, continuing sanding with the, the 320. Also, I took off the 1500 emblem. All that's going to be, re uh, not replaced, but it's going to be cleaned and put back into the vehicle. So let me continue. All right. This way, the, the paint job will go underneath the molding and it'll get protected. So uh, I'm going to be taking this molding off uh, before I start spraying because I don't want to take it off. The window will have to be down. I don't want all the sanding debris to go, go inside the truck. So let me continue sanding with 320 and uh, I'll get back to you. All right. Uh, the whole entire truck has been sanded with uh, 320. So uh, as you can see right here, the entire truck, I still need to pressure wash, to try to take everything off, all the residue off and all that. But the entire truck has been sanded with 320 uh, with a DA. And then I just uh, went lightly with a wet sand real quick just to make it a little bit smoother but uh, let me take you around the truck and so you can see all these parts right here I'm gonna start uh, adding some primer to it so uh, stay tuned this is just fiberglass so with primer that'll be good uh, just on the pieces that the fiberglass is uh, coming out but uh, in regards to all the truck truck is uh, is sanded I still need to put some etching primer and a couple of little uh, spots but um, I still have one two three four little dents that I have to fix and that'll be it so let me start putting the primer on the running boards and uh, I'll bring you back. Right here guys there's a little small cracking of the fiberglass but I'm not worried about that there's a plastic cover where I guess it's a step uh, cover that goes here all the way to the very end so I'm just uh, doing this for protection so I'm not that worried about that so here we go that's it that's it for the running boards let me do the other side and I'll bring you back all right, guys, uh, again, I'm using the Transtar 2-in-1 uh, primer. So uh, this is real good for this. Let me just spray it on, and uh, I'll bring it back.
and I ran out. Let me get some more guys. All right guys, this is exactly the same thing. The only difference is it's black. I like to use gray on the black area so that I know where I've sprayed my primer, but uh, this is all I got right now. So let me just continue. I said guys, it's exactly the same thing. And there, there it is guys. All right guys, I'm gonna start tackling the, the dents. Like I said, I got three, one, two, three. Sorry, I got four. They're very, very light dents. So um, first, first of all, just scrape it up. I'm using, I'm using an 80 grit. I'm just gonna scrape it up so that the, the putty that I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put put but body filler I'm gonna put putty uh, we'll, we'll uh, cover it up very lightly go with the DA sander that's it guys All you're doing guys is creating a tooth for the body filler or the putty that you're gonna put that's all you're doing so you don't have to go full blast on the revolutions on the DA just uh, lightly and uh, I don't know if you can see that I'm tilting the DA that's it That's it guys, let me bring you back. All right guys, this is what I'm using, the Pro Glaze Polyester Finishing Putty. Like I said, the dents are really, you can't hardly feel them, but I know they're there. And this is a black paint job, so anything will, it's gonna, it's gonna come out. So I'd rather use this and uh, let me get to it. Remember guys, everything need to, needs to touch the hardener. Once you, once you see it uniform, you're ready to go. All right guys, that's it. Let me let it dry and I'll start uh, sanding it. All right guys, in the meanwhile that uh, the polyester putty dries, let me show you something else. Right here guys, 
I burned through the paint. You can see right there. But this is primer already. And I smoothed it out real, real nice with uh, 320, 400. So I don't need to put more primer on that. Also this, this I burned through the paint. And this is primer also. So uh, I don't need to put primer on those areas. Those areas I already have. This, you need to put etching primer. Anything that's bare metal, you're gonna have to use an etching primer. Or uh, uh, direct, -to -metal, to direct to metal primer also. But um, that's, that's the way it is, guys. All right, guys, I'm sanding with uh, 220 first. Just to smooth everything out, then I'll progress to um, uh, 300. a finer grid of sandpaper. <laughs> Alright guys, all the body work has been done. All I need to do is primer it and block sand it. Uh, right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start sanding the putty that I put in the little nicks and all that that it had. So let me start doing that. I'm using 320. And I'm keeping the DA flat as possible. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. This thing is done. Let me start primering it. Put in some etching primer on those areas. And it'll be ready for sanding the, the primer. Let me do that. Again guys, I'm using this primer because it's a lot better for me than mixing a uh, cord or less to spray the little areas. So this works real good guys. If you just have little body work areas. Don't forget guys, I still need to come back and sand this area. This is primer, so it's sandable primer. So I'm going to have to come back and lightly sand before I start spraying. I need to start adding some etching primer to that, that area. I'm going to put some etching primer on this again and go from there. All right, guys, uh, I put some etching primer. I waited for an hour and I put some primer also on top of it. I don't want to spray base on top of the etching primer it's not uh i don't like it so it's up to you guys but i don't like it um i also already put some um, etching primer in these areas and um uh, primer them so this is ready uh all i need to do is for let it to let it dry and uh come back tomorrow start sanding it and getting it ready so that i can uh start masking it and uh well first i'm gonna uh, pressure wash it then i'll just start masking it and uh have it ready for paint all right guys the primer has been sanded everything's ready to go the truck has been masked off so let me just get started i have that bench here to reach the top uh the bed's not gonna be painted 
so it's just uh the exterior of the truck so um let me just get started right now i'm gonna be using that uh wax and grease remover uh so let me do that and i'll come back to you hello guys before you start using the tack rag open it up leave it for about five minutes and um then you can start using it um just uh wipe the entire car make sure you get every lint every little thing off and um, i'm using an air hose with it so uh let me do that real quick guys before i start i'm going to be using a new um paint mask guys be sure it says p95 that's going to be for aerosols and for paint uh anything else it can be dangerous so um this is what i'm going to be using this is what i've been using for many 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 years so uh i recommend it guys well here we go
All right, guys, I'm using the tack rag in between coats just to get a smoother paint job. Look at all the trash that you pick up. So it's a good idea for you to do the tag rag in between coats. All right, guys, let me finish and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, it's going to be the third and final coat.
Alright guys, it's time for the clear coat. I'll be using the All Candy Wet Wet Plus with a slow activator. So let me mix it up and get ready to spray it. Guys, I'll be shooting at 35 PSI. This is going to be the first coat.
All right, guys, here's a finished truck. Everything came out nice. Everything uh, is good. So this is it, guys. Let me show you the finished uh, truck. And uh, here's another one, guys. Alright guys, uh, this is it. Please guys, uh, like the video, share the video, uh, hit the link below, and I'll see you in the next one.